The Targaryen Civil War, also known as the Dance of the Dragons, was a civil war fought between two branches of House Targaryen over the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms. The war was fought between 129 AC and 131 AC, resulting in the deaths of many Targaryens and their dragons. The war was fought between the supporters of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the daughter of King Viserys Targaryen, and those of her half-brother Aegon Targaryen who claimed the throne after the death of their father. The story focuses heavily on the feminine struggle to rise to power in a male-dominant society, which, coupled with Rhaenyra's son's death, led to the epic battle known as the Dance of Dragons. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the first influential female in the series to be denied, an opportunity to take the Iron Throne, passed over for her cousin Weeseres, simply because she was female. Rhaenys's life has been defined by getting spurned in the line of succession over the Iron Throne because of her gender, which inspired her nickname, the Queen Who Never Was. However, Weeseres rectifies this in a way by naming his daughter Rhaenyra as his heir fixing decades of gender inequality. To say Rhaenys was jealous when Weeseres removed his brother Damon from the line of succession and replaced him with Rhaenyra isn't a stretch. When Rhaenyra marries Rhaenys' son, Laenor, their Velaryon children will also rectify the line of succession as Rhaenys' descendants. When Rhaenyra proposes that her sons marry Damon and Lena's daughters, that finalizes Rhaenys' loyalty to the Blacks. After King Viserys dies, the Game of Thrones spin-off shows Alicent trying to win over Rhaenys. Alicent Hightower claims that Rhaenys should have been queen, however, her words contradict her actions when Alicent still wants to place her son Aegon on the throne. Until the Hightowers moved against Princess Rhaenys, during their plot to place Viserys and Alicent Hightower's eldest son on the throne over Rhaenyra, Rhaenys didn't interfere. When they took her prisoner, she made her fury known on the dragon's back, arriving at Aegon's attempted coronation and raining fire down on the people. A woman with such drive and personality is almost certain to go out in a big way when her time comes. Rhaenys is a formidable force when it comes to the Dance of the Dragons, so how does she die in the books? The pair partook in the Dance of Dragons, arriving to lend their aid at Rook's Rest. The Battle of Rook's Rest was fought in 130 AC, a significant victory for Aegon II and the Greens. The battle was fought between the forces of Prince Damon Targaryen, the husband of Princess Rhaenyra, and those of Sir Criston Cole, the Hand of the King and the leader of the Greens. The battle was fought near Rook's Rest, a town in the Riverlands, and it was named after the inn where the Greens had set up their headquarters. In fire and blood, Rhaenyra sends Rhaenys to fly over the Velaryon ship's fleet on her dragon Melis to prevent the Greens from attacking. Effective here, Rhaenys continues to fly on Melis as a tool during battle. They attack Sir Criston's soldiers during the battle at Rook's Rest. Despite Sir Criston Cole's army firing deadly iron bolts at Melis, she shook them off and continued raining fire down upon them. She might have escaped with her life had it not been for Vagar and Sunfire teaming up against her in a deadly air battle. When King Aegon Targaryen and Prince Aemon Targaryen appear on their dragon Sunfire and Vagar, Rhaenys meet their attack knowing she doesn't have a chance. Princess Rhaenys and her dragon Melis were ambushed by Vagar and Sunfire ridden by Aegon and Aemon during the battle. The two dragons attacked Melis, resulting in the three dragons falling to the ground. Besides Melis's carcass, a body was found that was so blackened with ash that no one could tell who it was. However, it is widely believed that the body is that of Rhaenys. Like her daughter, she dies a dragon rider's death. While this may be how she dies in the books, we know that House of the Dragon takes its liberties when it comes to character deaths. So, perhaps she'll be safe from the perils of battle. Melis did not survive the impact and when her massive head was returned to King's Landing, Aegon had it paraded through the street on a cart. The battle was a turning point in the war, and the death of Rhaenys was a significant loss for the Blacks. It demoralized their forces. The death of Melis also meant that the Blacks lost one of their most powerful dragons. The civil war resulted in the deaths of many Targaryens and their dragons, and it had a lasting impact on the Seven Kingdoms. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do us a favor. Like the video, share it with others, and also subscribe to the channel because the bigger the channel gets, the better and faster the videos will come. Thanks for watching the video.